What's up, YouTubers? Today I'll be talking to you guys about Man of Steel, a reboot on par with Batman Begins. Man of Steel successfully modernizes the Superman franchise while providing breathtaking action on a massive screen. When I walk out the deal, I just asked everybody, what did you think? Everybody came up with a slow start. Yes, I say that, and I'm a big fan of his, and I say that. Um, I, I say that's how a Superman movie should be. You know, you're going to always have fans and the haters, or the, the positive and the negative, you know. Man, it still arrives with plenty of promise. The promise of capitalizing on the kind of characters, mythology, the God of Pogs. Unlike... 06 Superman Returns. You would believe that movie is that boring. It was boring. Well, it had him doing a few dozen punches, like a lot of punches. And I'm excited to say that it fulfills my promise. While giving artisans a Clark Kent that they can truly relate to. Who's vulnerable and still got a swimming side. Um, from the opening of Krypton, the Clark's upbringing on Earth to the explosive conclusion. Man still completely sells the story of the alien sent from a dying civilization, uh, saying uh, how will we live with a god among us, how will he deal with, you know, trying to fit in with the humans. This reboot, directed by Zack Snyder, thank you, first of all, for this great movie adaptation. It spends much time establishing the character before making him go loose, much like Batman Begins did for Bruce Wayne back in 05. Henry Cavill balances Clark's duality. Eventually, he's vulnerable underneath his invisible, you know, this providing Boy Scouts charm and physicalness on a level not seen in any previous incarnation. What else should I say? Other members of the supporting cast live up to their building as well, but not as much as uh, Henry Cavill or Kurt Russell, you know, Louis Lane and Perry White had a small role. Not a small role, but a big role. Um, I don't really know the major complaints of this movie. Mine would be it was a slow start, like everybody else said. But when the going gets good, it's actually a good movie. Um, hope to see many sequels because this is the greatest superhero movie I've seen on side of the Avengers and Dark Knight and Dark Knight Rises. Um, out of everything that impressed me, it was easily the major action sequences that topped the list of even the story, the dialogue. Superman's power to put the full use and sense his full this time around Krypton as well. He's going toe-toe -to with him with beings that can cause destruction on a big screen, you know? You expecting Snyder's traditional slow motion techniques, man? Or in 300? You won't find that here. The sense of super speed and sheer power on screen because that provides an adrenaline rush beyond anything done in last summer's The Avengers and certainly tops any superhero film thus far. That's worry due to Snyder directing. I'm a fan, a big fan of his Watchmen movie. Should not be. This is the least Snyder out of anything he's done so far. Writer. David Go attempts to strive for realism and Christopher Nolan's subtitle influence on the story of parent and over our man still's triumph. So says backed by another stellar musical score. Like I would really bump this shit. The whole soundtrack of Man of Steel, it was awesome. Then I miss having the classic then. By the way, this is not your fault the Superman movie and you know, it would have been really great if they had more of Metropolis on the Daily Planet, but it's evident by the film's end that those developments are being saved. Sequel. Should one happen. Look out for Easter eggs too, because there are a few that you will miss if you blink. Pay close attention to the satellite showing. Hint is one of his greatest villains that didn't do so well on Returns. Overall, check it out. You won't be disappointed. Great movie. Give it a 4.5 out of 5. It would have been close to a 5. It would have started off intense, you know. But yeah, that's, that's what I have to say. Folks.